I'm Pasco Q Kevlin. This is the Norwich Arts Centre and my job here is director, which means uh, I get some of the credit when things go right and all of the blame when it goes wrong. So the Norwich Arts Centre started, well it's now 41 years ago, uh, and it was started by a group of uh, independent mavericks and misfits and people that were just crazy about getting something going in the city that was very DIY in its, in its intentions and it was about giving people opportunities to play and perform and do things in the, in the heart of the city. So it started off in a different building, moved into this building 41 years ago. It's got a fantastic international reputation as a place for really, you know, particularly that, that breaks bands, but it's not only bands, it's, it's theatre companies, it's poets, it's live artists, it's dancers, it's comedians. Essentially, at some point, most of the people that we get to either see on TV or see in bigger venues will have come through this venue in some way, shape or form. Over time, we've had, you know, some of the most important bands uh, and artists in, in the wider context have started their careers playing in venues like this. So I mean, you know, one of the things that I think is really important is that we have got a very clear sense of what it is we do and we're good at. So talent development's at the core of everything that, that we do here. But you know, we, we will present new theatre, we'll commission new theatre to be made and developed and rehearsed here, to be written by people we're engaging with. So we've got theatre makers, we've got writers, we've got musicians, we've got comedians, we've got emerging producers get the opportunity to work with all of these new artists that are coming through as well. So we're very good at stitching things together, bringing people together. Sort of a house in an amazing medieval church. It does feel lovely. I think we all really enjoy the fact that we're in this beautiful building that we've, we take great care of. Uh, we were really, really uh, lucky. We got a, an Arts Council grant for 500,000 quid and we got everything done. We got the main auditorium done, we got the bars done, we got the loos done, we got the gardens done. All of the tech kit is, is brand new. Uh, we've reduced our energy consumption massively. So it's environmentally important, of course it is at this moment. It's, it's the tiny attention to detail. We try and recycle absolutely everything that's coming through here. We've reduced in the time that I've been here, you know, the stuff that's going off to landfill massively. We're getting awards now for the environmental um, responsibility that we're taking. We got rid of all throwaway disposable plastics in the venue. Nothing like that gets chucked away now. I think we've got one of the best bars in the city. We've, we've done a lot of work in making it look really lovely, but I mean, the range of drinks that are in there, we're working with loads of local suppliers and producers of beers and spirits, but also, on those warm, balmy summer evenings, sitting out in our garden, it's like being in the middle of a village green. And I think it's one of um, Norwich's best kept secrets is the Norwich Arts Centre Bar and Garden. You know, we've got uh, an organisation called Attitude is Everything. They're really uh, working alongside us, helping us to understand how we can make improvements. So the building, in our staff training, that's what's really important for me is that it makes good business sense, it makes good community sense, it makes good cultural sense. Pretty much whatever somebody comes in and throws at us as maybe their particular need, we should be able to try and meet it. We're very closely allied with the LGBTQ plus community here. We, you know, we do a lot of work, we put a lot of shows on uh, that have that, um, that accessibility, that the desire to have a, a genuinely diverse programme of artists, but also diverse audience. I think it was about four years ago now, we were invited to become Norwich's first theatre of sanctuary. This is a scheme that, that operates all around the country, but it was in recognition of the work that we were doing with diverse audiences and diverse artists and the fact that we uh, had chosen a, a particular charity here in the city called New Roots, who do work with asylum seekers and refugees. We've done a few events where we were trying to raise the money for them and demonstrating that these people should feel welcome in our community and there's a charity there that's working really hard to make sure that these people are being given opportunities. So we see it as our responsibility, our social responsibility, to get involved in that and to support them as and when we can. We're really pleased we've got the Young Norfolk Arts Trust. They're based here in an office. They're the professionals. They know what they're doing when it comes to young people's work. Partnering now with our young people's work with, with this trust. They also allows us to I don't know, to go out to places like Great Yarmouth and to be involved in something that might be going on there, or to go to King's Lynn, places that are outside and away from Norwich. Well, we don't necessarily have those sorts of relationships, but they do, and that allows us to extend our reach. If we're doing our job well in those moments, their future audiences, their future artists that are becoming and performing here or attending shows. Working with young people is just, you know, A, a it's a lot of fun, but it's also it's investment in the future.